Take a look at this logo. This is the logo of the Dutch national rail operator, the Nederlandse Spoorwegen, literally translating to the Dutch railways. Now, take a look at this logo. No doubt most people clicking on this video are equally if not more familiar with this. This is the logo of British Rail, the double arrow. They look very much alike, both seem to represent railway lines as well as arrows. The BR logo predates the NS logo by three years. Designed by Jerry Barney in 1965, it came about because the old British Railways logo epitomised the state of the UK's national rail network. A heraldic crest of a lion holding up a spoked train wheel surrounded by the text British Railways. It could be found stamped on underperforming diesel powered trains and carriages, but most importantly on the flanks of steam trains. Despite me loving them to death, steam trains were old fashioned even for 1960 standards. The fact that the logo of the steam engines were adorned with recalled the uh, old fashionedness of the railways didn't help the public image. Never mind that over 2,000 steam locomotives adorning the emblem were less than 20 years old by the time BR got around to getting rid of their steam engines. The NS logo, which does not have an official name as far as I'm aware, was designed by Gert Dunbar and Gert-Jan Leuvelink in 1968. By that time the NS had already been steam free for a decade and it arose less out of a need to modernise and more because the NS didn't really have a signature style. This goes both for publicity as well as the actual trains themselves. Multiple units, or trains that run without locomotives, were mostly designed and built in-house, but the NS locomotives were foreign designs. The most beloved non-steam NS locomotives, the 1100 and 1200, are French and American designs respectively. Basically, the NS wanted something more recognisable to put on their stations, carriages and locomotives than uh, this, a classification and a wee plaque for the locomotive's noses. The poor NS-1000 didn't even get that plaque. All this rambling might distract one from the undeniable fact that the NS logo is heavily inspired by the BR one, but their relationship goes further than that. The NS had several locomotives running on their network that could also be found in Britain. The Class 11 is perhaps the most fitting example as its evolutionary replacement, the Class 08, was the most ubiquitous diesel locomotive in the UK. However, those Class 11s were never British rail locomotives. The EM2s, however, were. Displaced from their original passenger work along England's first electrified main line between Sheffield and Manchester in 1968, the NS bought them from BR for scrap value. The EM2s were somewhat underpowered, but they proved to be just what the NS needed, who only withdrew the class in 1986, by which point they had served longer for the NS than they had served for BR. Does that make them English or Dutch locomotives, one can only wonder. Looking at an EM2 in NS livery, the canary yellow and grey suits them very well. British Rail must have thought so too, as when BR was sectorised in the 1980s, locomotives allocated to the Civil Engineers Department were churned out in this livery. This is what is known among railway people as the Dutch livery, for obvious reasons. NS has borrowed the livery from BR too. In 2021, NS Virm double-decker units were refurbished and given this striking flow livery, which does look an awful lot like BR large logo blue. Now that we've caught up with current times, we might as well talk about the current state of affairs. Obviously there's the Eurostar service, which runs between London St Pancras and Amsterdam CS. It is not owned or operated by the NS, but I felt I had to mention it, at least. But did you know that the NS actually does run some of Britain's rail operators? This section might carry some terribly political connotation for some, so I am going to list the facts as they are and refrain from any comment. In 1995, British Rail was privatised, allowing for rail operators to take over where BR left off. The NS, operating as their wholly owned subsidiary Abellio, own quite a number of shares in the UK's railway system, as of recording this video in August 2022. This map, made by Reddit user Boast of Us, at least I think that's how you pronounce it, shows which franchises the NS has stakes in and how much, percentage-wise. East Midlands Railways is wholly owned by the NS. From the 1st of April 2015 to the last day of March 2022, NS also wholly owned Scotrail, the Scottish national operator. 
An appeal was launched in 2019 to get ScotRail into the hands of the Scottish government if the NS-run ScotRail didn't increase their performance in three years' time. One bad related incident later, and well, it looks like ScotRail finally belongs to the Scots. This, however, is all to change. In 2023, the grand majority of the UK's passenger carrying rail operators will be taken over by Great British Railways. This is a state-owned affair which intends to bring the railways back under a single brand like the British Rail of old. Only, you know, without the highly profitable freight trains. It's all gonna be Dutch with the UK's rail network. Although you could say that when GBR takes over, it won't be Dutch at all. <laughs>